Jesus is Lord. That's what 144 means. The heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Jeremiah 17 and 9. Nothing good lives in me. Romans 7 and 18. And Satan is at the work tempting our hearts to evil. And the believer heart is cleansed, spirit anointed, and blessed. The 26th, the 27th, the 28th. That's really weird that it says it like that. The 26th. Am I born of the Spirit? Spiritual adoption. Romans 10, numerous, numerous 10. But as many received him, to them he gave power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name, which were born, not of blood, nor of will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but born of God. And thou art no more a servant, but a son. And if a son, then an heir of God. God hath sent forth the spirit of his son into your hearts, crying, Abba, Father. But the anointed which ye have received abides in you, and need not only any man teach you. We know that we have passed death to life because we love the brethren. So, and that's and and that's you. You definitely have to have the a loving heart. You definitely have to have a loving heart. So, do you bear fruit? Are you moved by God in an excellent way? Have you edified the body? So these are some good scriptures that you would like you should go over that could really help you out if you're seeing any of these numbers. And the 28th is his sacrifice of Christ in me. His death, his purge of sin, his word is truth, and he is the Lord of all. Okay, 1 Corinthians 11, number 27. Jesus is Lord, 144. So 127 spiritual sons at the end was 144. So I want you to keep tuning in while we're checking out these spiritual numbers, meaning, and what could be actually helping us ascend in our life. All right, this is Shonda Shalom.